Hi guys, it's bumper crop season, otherwise known as the middle of summer, which for me is the best time of year because everything is in season. So each day this week, we're gonna be featuring a new vegetable. Today, it's zucchini. And I know you guys all want more great zucchini recipes. To go with our zucchini, a spiced pork chop. I'm starting off by making a rub. I just put a tablespoon of sugar into a zip top bag. And then I'm gonna add a tablespoon of ground coriander. One and a half teaspoons of ground cumin. So I'm making a little bit of a spice rub here. If you were so inclined, you could make double or triple this batch and save some of it for later. It's also good on chicken or salmon. Try it. A teaspoon of black pepper and a teaspoon of coarse salt. If you're using table salt, make sure you use a half a teaspoon. Mix that together in your bag. It needs to refrigerate for at least eight hours. So you can do it this morning for tonight or last night for tomorrow. You know what I'm saying. It's a perfect make ahead meal. A tablespoon of olive oil and then the pork chops go in. That's four pork chops, about three pounds total. I'd say these are about an inch, an inch and a half thick. Put them in the bag and then you just sort of, I was gonna say mash them around, basically rub the rub all over them. If you find that it's easier to actually rub it on, you can do that too. I'm just gonna see what happens. The recipe says toss, but I don't think you can really toss in a zip top bag, can you? See, I don't really know how this works. You know what, actually, I'm gonna take these out of the bag and do them by hand and then put them back in. It's just not working for me. Might work for you. Maybe you're more talented at this than I am, I don't know. This rub is good. It's got lots of spice, a little bit of sugar for caramelization and sweetness to balance it out. You're gonna like it. Eight hours in the fridge, overnight, do it in the morning. When you get home from work, you're gonna have a pretty delicious dinner waiting for you. All flavored up and ready to go. Eight hours has passed. Oil your grill, heat it up, get it nice and hot, and the pork chops need to cook covered for about 10 minutes total, so about five minutes per side. It depends on the heat of your grill and the kind of grill that you're using, so just keep an eye on them. You wanna cook them through. And these are pretty thick, which is why we're cooking them covered. You need to cover things that are really thick. Contain some of that heat. I'm gonna put some towards the front and some towards the back because I'm cooking over two burners and the middle's not really that hot. I mean, it's hot, but it's not as hot. All right. Those are already salted because there was salt in the rub. Cover them up and now you can get your zucchini ready. Your bumper crop crop. Quarter inch thick lengthwise. If you have a mandolin, use that now. You also don't have to cut these lengthwise. We think that they're pretty this way, but you can certainly cut them crosswise, which is a little bit easier. And by a little, I mean a lot. <laughs> Just a little difficult to sort of hold it in place. That's what mandolins are for. I feel like it's time to turn my pork chops, so I'm gonna check on them now, and then I'll come back and season these up and get them ready for the grill. All right, uh-oh. <laughs> I'm a little worried I overcooked them slightly. You know why they're getting so much char? That's from the sugar in the rub. I think that'll taste good though. I hope. Forget for talking too much. Cover them up, cook them for another five minutes. They're turned, they're charred. <laughs> Time to oil the zucchini. Just wanna brush them lightly. In fact, I'm just gonna brush one side and then brush the other when they're on the grill maybe. Line them up, lightly brush with oil. I'm gonna finish the zucchini with some grated lime zest and feta cheese. So right before I go back to the grill to get my pork chops, I'm gonna grate a tablespoon of lime zest. Maybe two, two limes, let's see. Nice fine grater, smells so good. You know, every time I grate lime zest, I'm re-reminded how aromatic limes are. So much more aromatic than lemons even. If you've ever grated lime, you know what I'm talking about. Limes are so tiny and they don't have a ton of zest, so definitely two. Perfect timing, because it's time to take the pork chops off. Mm. Now my hands smell really good too. Yum, I'm excited. You wanna let the pork chops rest a little bit before you serve them anyway, so it's perfect that they're done before the zucchini. Let's see. I wanna just scrape a little bit, but a little pork flavor on your zucchini, right? I don't think I need to add any more fat, so I'm just gonna put my zucchini on. Put the zucchini oiled side down. If you have a full-size grill or an outside grill, obviously you don't really need to do this 
in batches and you can do everything all at once, right? I don't have that advantage. Season them. These should only take about two or three minutes per side. I think these are ready to turn. You want the zucchini to be tender and charred. Some people like them close to raw. Some people like them really soft. I kind of like them soft, so. I mean, you can cook them however you want. Maybe I'll get a plate, because I'm ready to eat. Pork chop, the most grilled of the zucchinis. It's super seasonal. And then you just sprinkle your zucchini, a little bit of lime zest, put a little bit on your pork chop too. A little bit of feta cheese, I have a half a cup, so a couple tablespoons is good. And you are ready to eat super fast, make ahead dinner for the bumper crop season. Start it off right, grilled zucchini and pork chops. Hi guys, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to click here if you want to subscribe and click over here if you want to continue watching more great videos like this.